Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. App Creators. In this tutorial we are venturing into the realm of mobile app development using Just in Mind. Join me for a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a mobile app in Just in Mind in 2024. Ready to bring your app ideas to life? Let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So guys, in this video, we are trying to make um, kind of like a pretty looking app or a mobile app on Just in Mind. As we said, in Just in Mind, we can't really make apps, but we are going to only make the user interface of that app, and then you can export it with the professional plan uh, you have to pay for $19 once you pay for it for $19 you can export it as an HTML code which you can later on make it as a Python a JavaScript as whatever code you want so for this specific video we are going to try to make a simple app just like this one right here so let's get started the first thing is to go to just in mind and to launch it right after you open it you have to create a project on mobile don't choose pc so something like that what you have to do click on your project and here click on mobile choose which mobile for example uh, iphone 15 max pro or something like um, i don't know if iphone 11 pro and then here let's name it mobile app so there we go and here we have the platform open for us so the first thing to add is basically the status bar so here we should add a status bar which is very very important to have in your iPhone so there we go I can add it right here the problem with this, with this one is the background the background is basically white so we have to make it colored so here let's just simply color everything Oh. And the same goes for this one or what you could do is simply go to the status bar number one and you will have this black background right here which you could simply play with it so let me just go ahead and make it a little bit bigger something like that works so yeah I'm going to add it right here as long as the number shows so something similar to that is perfectly good for me so yeah let's just make it a little bit smaller and this is perfect so here we have added that so now we have added like the status bar and now we gotta have to get started with the app itself so here we have this app which is gonna be pretty simple so the first thing is to have this kind of blue color shape so to add shapes in here simply just head up to uh, this area which is on the left side menu and you will find these containers form fields etc so here for us we need the basics and we need some shapes or containers or bead so here we need the shapes so we're gonna go with a rectangle so I'm gonna add it right here and I'm gonna make it something like so and here for this rectangle I would like to add some rounding uh, the bottom so here let's add 20 and this is exactly what I wanted all sides nope I don't want it to be all sides so top right top left to be normal and yeah something like that is perfectly good for me so we just have to make it bigger this side fit the side all right we have to remove the border and basically now what I'm going to do is to actually add the coloring so let's add the color um, we can decide the colors later on but if you want this color exactly we can for example click on F12 and go to elements here and we can literally click right here click on this color copy this code and we will have the same code that they are using so something like that oh my bad okay something like so this is exactly what they are using so let's go back just remove this close it and here we are so here it seems like they have it a little bit short it is not that long now the same thing at the same time here 
it seems like it is longer than 40 it is somehow 50 yep 50 seems to be all right so here what they have also is a button which says search so the same thing we have to add a button so to add it we simply have to go right here into this basic area and choose button and we have to add it right here right in the middle so here we have added this button we need it to have the same colors so for this color i think it's gray but let's try to get the same color again so let's go click right here let's click on this color and let's try to decide which color is that so this is the color what we have to do is simply head up right here go to the background and simply remove and replace the color so here we have to add uh, the rounding of this button so let's search here rounding we need it to be 40 as an example yep this seems to be good uh, this button will have this text which is search so let's click here and add search I'm going to make this button a bit bigger and click shift so we can keep the size and yeah here we need then to add some rounding into it so it's going to be around 50 50 seems good yep and we can add some kind of effect so we need to add a drop shadow they have a drop shadow right there so we need to add shadow um let's add for example 50 here oh my bad here the shadow configuration and we need it to be this way distance I need it to be closer the blur I need it to be somewhere like that and for the color I need opacity of it to be around somewhere like so let's make it smaller yep something like that seems to be perfect so here we have the search now what we need also to do is basically to add these uh, circles that they have so here it is circle number one the circle is going to be right here and we can type here number one we can have a couple of them so here number two number three um, all right and these are the circles that they have on that app so here i'm going to color this one without a border it's half border here it has to be that color and the text has to be white so let's go all the way up here choose the color to be white for the text so we need to select choose the color to be white and there we go so here also we need to remove the background but we are going to keep the actual color of the border and yep here we go and so go on now what else is we need to add a couple of texts and a couple of animations so it's pretty easy guys now it's just for you to add text so you need to add text for example right here we can add for example date and it should have the exactly the date that you are looking for let's make it for example bigger uh, by selecting it so we have to select it go right here choose 26 get it to be somewhere like that and here you should add whatever other text you would like to add so make an app uh, like a design is pretty easy now with just in mind so now only thing that you have to do is to complete it with the steps that i have already shown you and your app or final results will be the same as this google image so yeah guys that was it for today's video thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial